Hi, I'm Rob. Is your internal or external hard drive not showing up in Windows File Explorer? We're going to try and fix that in this video. We'll go through a bunch of different solutions depending on whether your hard drive shows up in disk management and whether it's brand new or used. To check if the drive shows up in disk management, right click the Windows Start icon. Click Disk Management. A list of drives that Windows can detect is listed here. Drives not showing up in File Explorer or Disk Management means that Windows can't detect the drive. This is usually due to a bad connection. Check the SATA or USB cable. Try another one if possible or a different port. Make sure the SATA hard drive or USB drive is being powered. You should hear it spinning when up close. Restart or power on your PC once any changes have been made to see if the drive is detected. A hard drive with a corrupted file system will show in Disk Management, but not in File Explorer. Right click the Windows icon and click Disk Management. If the raw drive is the one you're wanting to fix, you'll need to format it, which erases all data. Use data recovery software such as the EaseUS Data Recovery Wizard to back up your files first, which will be shown in the next step. To continue with formatting and deleting the contents of the drive, right click on the raw partition and select Format. Name the volume and select NTFS as the file format. Quick Format should be selected and click OK. Your drive should now show up in File Explorer. If it doesn't due to a missing drive letter, you'll need to assign one. Right click the volume on your drive and select Change Drive Letter and Paths. Click Change. Assign a new drive letter and click OK. Right click the Windows Start logo and choose Disk Management. If your brand new drive shows up as not initialized, right click Initialize and then right click and Format to NTFS. For a used drive showing up as unallocated, the partition has been erased for whatever reason. If there's data on there you want to keep, you'll need to use data recovery software. Download the EaseUS data recovery wizard linked in the video description and install it. Run the software and select the drive to be scanned. You can use the filter button or the search box to find specific files. Once you've found the files you want to recover or the scan is complete, select the files, click recover and choose a different drive as a save location. This will avoid other recoverable files being overwritten on the drive. Once the files are backed up, head back to Disk Management by right-clicking the Windows Start icon. Then right-click the unallocated drive space and choose New Simple Volume. Name the volume and follow the wizard until the partition is formatted. Another reason your hard drive may not be showing up in File Explorer is due to a conflicting drive letter. Right click the Windows Start icon and choose Disk Management. Find your hard drive which is missing the drive letter or needs the drive letter changed. Right click the partition and select Change a Drive Letter and Paths. Assign a drive letter and click OK. If your hard drive has a yellow exclamation mark in Device Manager, it needs a driver update. Right click the Windows Start icon and choose Device Manager. Expand Disk Drives. For the drive with the exclamation mark, right click and select Update Driver. Now restart the PC and see if the problem is solved. A new hard drive will often need to be initialized first. Right click the Windows Start icon and select Disk Management. Right click on the new hard drive and choose Initialize Disk. 
choose the partition style. Most will want GPT and click OK. Now right click on the unallocated space and select new simple volume. Name your drive and complete the process. Your drive should now be visible in the file explorer. If your hard drive isn't showing up at all, try changing the cable, USB port or SATA port on your motherboard. If you have access to another PC, try connecting there and see if the drive is detected. You can also try updating the USB controller in Device Manager if you're using a USB hard drive. Right click the Windows Start icon and choose Device Manager. Scroll down to Universal Serial Bus Controllers. Right click USB Root Hub and select Update Driver. Search automatically. I hope this video fixed your hard drive not showing up in Windows. Like and subscribe or leave a comment and see you again for more computer tips in the future. That's all for this one. See ya.